everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from exponential series so let's get started problem show that 2 by 3 factorial plus 4 by 5 factorial plus 6 by 7 factorial plus 8 by 9 factorial plus 1 equals to 1 by e solution let's consider LHS part we have 2 by 3 factorial plus 4 by 5 factorial plus 6 by 7 factorial plus 8 by 9 factorial plus so on. Okay. The numerator you are having even terms and sorry even numbers and in the denominator you are having odd numbers 3, 5, 7, 9 right. Like n minus 1 by n factorial for tn that is for n term. Okay. So now you can write this 2 as 3 minus 1 by 3 factorial. Since you are having 2 in the numerator, you could write this 2 in n minus 1 form. That is 3 minus 1. Okay. Plus the second term 5 minus 1. By 5 factorial, third term can be written as 7 minus 1 by 7 factorial and fourth term can be written as 9 minus 1 by 9 factorial plus so on, right? So this equals to the numerator you're having two terms and in the denominator you're having one term. So you can express each fraction into two fractions right you get 3 by 3 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 5 by 5 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus 7 by 7 factorial minus 1 by 7 factorial plus 9 by 9 factorial minus 1 by 9 factorial plus so on okay since we know that n factorial equals to 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 into n. And we have n minus 1 factorial equals to 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1, right? So now we can replace this 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Okay? So we'll get n factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial into n. Okay? Since n factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial into n. You can replace 3 factorial from the first term, 5 factorial from the third term, 7 factorial from the fifth term and 9 factorial from the seventh term. Okay, you're having 3 factorial, right? So you could write this 3 factorial as 3 factorial equals to 3 minus 1 factorial into 3, which is equal to 2 factorial into 3. Likewise, you can write 5 factorial as 5 minus 1 factorial into 5, which is equal to 4 factorial into 5. 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 factorial into 5. And 7 factorial as 7 minus 1 factorial into 7, which is equal to 6 factorial into 7. And 9 factorial can be written as 9 minus 1 factorial into 9, which is equal to 8 factorial into 9. Okay. This becomes 3 by, now replace 3 factorial by 2 factorial into 3. Second term as it is, minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 5 by, now replace 5 factorial by 4 factorial into 5. Fourth term as it is, plus 7 by. Replace 7 factorial by 6 factorial into 7. 
minus the term as it is plus 9 by 9 factorial can be replaced by 8 factorial into 9 minus as it is plus so on. So now you can cancel 3 from the first term. 5 from 3rd term, 7 from 5th term and 9 from 7th term or 7th fraction. So this equals to 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial minus 1 by 7 factorial plus 1 by 8 factorial minus 1 by 9 factorial plus so on. Okay. Since we know that e power minus x equals to summation n equals to 0 to infinity minus 1 power n into x power n by n factorial which is equals to 1 minus x by 1 factorial plus x squared by 2 factorial minus x cubed by 3 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial minus plus minus and so on. Okay. Then you put x equals to 1, you'll have e power minus 1 equals to 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial, minus 1 by 5 factorial, and so on, right? So, this equals to 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial, minus 1 by 3 factorial, plus 1 by 4 factorial, minus 1 by 5 factorial, and so on, right? So, in order to use this formula for this, you need to add and subtract 1. Okay. So in the next step, we are going to add and subtract 1 to this step. 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus so on. Okay. Since 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial minus, sorry, minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus so on equals to E inverse, which is equals to 1 by E, right? So, this is equals to 1 by E, which is RHS. Therefore, 2 by 3 factorial plus 4 by 5 factorial plus 6 by 7 factorial plus 8 by 9 factorial plus so on equals to 1 by e. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from exponential series in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video and learn. Bye bye.